start with the sketch first. Um, I've opened up a new drawing and inside of this drawing I have nothing yet so I have to just start with um, just kind of getting something kind of close to what you already have. Um, so one of the things you need to do is just kind of make sure that when you're drawing something I understand that you, uh, you, you might be working off of something very particular but um, let's just take a look at this kind of one by one. So uh, there was kind of an accordion style thing going on here um, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, it's just for example say you've got something kind of like this and let me go ahead and hit enter here. So I've got this uh, here. Now let's see. Now if I click inside of this uh, area, you notice that I have the selected areas is darker. That means that's the object I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and use as part of my sketch. And you might have thought, well, why did I make a square? It was just for convenience. It's fast for me to do as opposed to drawing a line and making sure that it's all um, uh, constrained properly. Anyway, th this is just for an example right now, so let's just kind of keep it as is and assume that you've already got an object, and that object that you want to work with has some sort of depth to it. So what I did here is I clicked on the extrude, and then I set the extrusion distance, so I'm just going to make it a nice um, three. So here we are, and we've got this object now. Um, which looks pretty interesting. I'm using the cube over here um, to kind of navigate around, but you can use all kinds of things to do this, I think. Um, so, uh, yeah, so we've got this, uh, you know, this object here, and I'm wanting to basically cut out something on the face. So one of the ways to do that is to use the construction geometry. And you can find that in the construct uh, drop-down. And you can choose offset plane. And you have a lot of different options for this, um, but offset planes and uh, are generally, or just planes in general, are a great great way of um, setting up geometry not on the face itself, but on something that you want to project. Kind of as you can see um, off to the side in the little window. Just let me show you. <laughs> But that offset of the geometry onto another uh, object is very useful, um, especially when you get into some more advanced things. So you just choose that. And then you can choose the, the plane that you want to select. So the plane, you can think of that, that goes on in, for, uh, uh, for infinity, basically, right? It's anything on this slice. So it's just a slice that goes off into infinity either way, all the way around. It doesn't have any size to it, so to speak. The size is what we're going to define in our sketch. So since what we want to cut is the front of the face of this object, right, the, the kind of curved section, we want to choose something that um, when we project, when we, when we draw on it, it will allow us to project onto that face. So for example, if we drew from the top down, if we're looking at our little um, navigator here, the top would be pointing down towards the grid area which would allow us to cut something out, but it wouldn't be the geometry that I think that we want for this particular setup here. So on this one, I'm gonna choose the, um, I think this is one, you know, the back of the object, but um, you know, essentially it's this, this uh, here. So I'm gonna click and drag, and this allows me to kind of get a space um, that is away from the, the, the object that we want here. And forgive me, I'm kind of, this isn't my, my daily driver, so to speak, on um, the mouse here, so I'm just trying to get used to how this works. Anyway, so any, I've got this offset plane. It's offset five and uh, three-tenths of an inch. So now I've got this plane here, which is what I'm, I'm hoping I can use to draw some geometry on. And what you can do is just kind of keep in mind that, that anything that exists in your model space, you can also project into a, a plane. So if you've got something like, in this case, I've got some, some geometry in the back here, that can really help me set up a sketch if I were to work on this plane. So let's get uh, over to that and see if, oops, they really messed up some of these shortcuts on this. Uh, so uh, forgive me here, let's go back to home. <laughs> 
I gotta get used to this. It's not, this is not good. All right, so there we go. Never really being it on a mouse uh, with this kind of drawing style. Anyway, uh, you know, I, I tend to prefer using a 3D mouse for this because it, it just makes it a lot easier. But um, here we are. So let's just, uh, you know, so say that you, you haven't selected anything. You pick on create a sketch. It allows you to either, you know, pick any of your standard planes to sketch on or to pick your new one that's in the front. Ta-da! So we're here. We've got this new one selected. Now, one of the things that's really great about this is if you look at it from here, let me get this sketch palette out of the way. So if you look at it this way, right, we don't really have a lot of geometry on our plane right now. So what we want to do is, is project this geometry onto the plane. It'll give us a good outline or boundary for the object that we're going to be uh, projecting onto. So I like to do that. You can use the uh, shortcut key P and then select the, the geometry that you want and you'll notice it kind of shows up here on your plane. Uh, another way of getting to that I think here is um, under create and then project include and then project. Uh, this is the one that we're using here. So go ahead and hit OK and then you'll notice now, okay, sweet. Now we've got something pretty, pretty slick working out. Oops, excuse me. So now we've got that. It looks kind of great. We just need to start drawing the, the the geometry that we want to to project into this object. So now uh, let's say we just want to do a square, right? Um, we can do all kinds of things, but it doesn't really matter so much. Let's just go ahead and say we want to cut a square into the object behind it. Obviously, when you do this kind of work, you're going to want to give it some sort of geometry. You can either um, draw a square, or I mean, another way to do this would be uh, to do an offset. You know, if I just want to offset this, let's say, uh, point two five, that's a quarter of an inch from the outside, and you just uh, hit OK. And I think one of the nice things about Fusion is that it, it doesn't really require you to really do a whole lot um, with that. So I now have a new geometry that's uh, something that we can use uh, for this purpose here. So um, So, gosh, that didn't work. <laughs> I was hoping to get it back into a good spot so I could uh, I could actually see what I was doing. So sorry about that. Um, anyway, I'll figure this out. Not a big thing to worry about. But I guess the biggest thing is is just hey, okay, we want to push pull this into this. So there's two different ways that we can do this now. So now this should look familiar for you uh, if anybody's been working on. Uh, fusion for a little bit this this kind of like a square and the push pull you can use that uh, so you can use extrude and then you can cut into the object you can cut all the way through if you wanted to and that leaves you with something that looks kind of like this um, which may or may not be what you want there's all kinds of ways of, of doing cuts um, into an object but this is just one of the ways another thing that you could do um, so I just backed out or, or control Z that. Uh, you can try extrude and then you have some different options here. So your start and your extents or your uh, other things here. So you could do two object and then you can select the object that you want to go to. Um, and that can also make like a, a profile coming out away from it. Um, and then the thing we can do here is we can start uh, doing some other things. You can say from object and then select the object. Let's go ahead and turn this off. So let's select the object. We're going to go from and we're going to go in. And so now you notice that what it does is a little bit different. So it starts the offset starting on the face that you're drawing on and then offsets in whatever the distance. So point, negative 0.25 
So you'll see what this does is it actually cuts a contour uh, that we've made. It doesn't look square anymore because it's projected onto an, uh, a face and then the starting point is whatever that point is along that face that we just made. And then hit OK. And you'll notice that's inset a quarter of an inch. So anyway, I hope that's useful for you. Um, if you like that, let me know. Otherwise, uh, I'll try and help you with anything else. Uh, have a good day. Thanks. Bye.